In this tutorial, you will learn how to make blast turret using turret or sentry guns for Unity. The included demo comes with a blast turret which fires projectiles at its enemies. Okay, now we begin building a blast turret from the top. Before your turret can start firing, we'll need to add a shooter component. Let's add this to the left gun now. We only want the turret to fire at all objects in the player layer, so let's fix that. Popping in animation. Activate time at zero means the gun will fire immediately when there's a target. We'll leave it at that. Takes 1.5 seconds for the gun to fire again. The fire delay is actually the number of frames to wait after the firing animation plays before a projectile is instantiated. This is useful when you'll like to sync your animation and sound to the gun. You can shift your gun's aim in relation to your target's glider by changing the aim. The frame of reference is the transform used for calculating the projectile motion. Make sure this transform is aligned to your gun's axes. The field of attack is similar to the field of view of a camera. I'll set this to 80 degrees. As for the bullet, we'll drag and drop the prefab on it. The prefab has a collider. This is important. Make sure all of your bullets have one. The speed determines how many units the bullet travels per second. The damage of each bullet is randomized between the minimum and maximum damage inclusive. Your bullets can also have an area of effect with the radius set here. The extra energy is the time in seconds your bullet lives even after reaching its target. This is useful if your bullet missed the target but you still want the bullet to potentially hit someone else within that extra time. When your gun fires, it is usually more realistic to see smoke coming out. By setting the boom, we can simulate that. Ensure the transform is aligned to the right axis and pop in the prefab. The explosion is the prefab that is instantiated when the projectile hits a target or runs out of energy. If you want your projectile to have an area of effect, it is very important that you add the explosion component to your explosion prefab. All objects within the area of effect will be pushed by an explosion force as long as those objects have rigid bodies attached. We'll need the gun shoot something, so we can either make it always shoot one thing by setting the target. Or we can add a trigger. I'll choose a sphere collider and set the radius to 150. Now we need to hear something when the gun fires at an audio source and set its clip to the sound we wish to hear. As for the right gun, I had prepared earlier to be same as the left gun, but I'll change the activate time to 0.5 seconds. This will make a nice alternating gunfire between left gun and right gun. Now we'll want the turret to rotate towards its target. We can do this by adding the basic turret component. The blast turret has two rotary parts for rotation in the X and Y axes, the head and the neck respectively. Here I can change the rotation speed, minimum and maximum rotation, in degrees each part can rotate in its axis. You can have up to as many rotary parts as you like. To make the blast turret rotate to its gun's firing angle, we'll align its X rotation to its left gun. Like the shooter component, we'll make it aim only at objects in the player layer. Also, we can either make it always aim at one thing or we can add a trigger. I'll use a sphere collider and set the radius to 200. The blast turret is now ready for action. Oh. 
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, brought to you by Bundam 3D. See our website for more details, at bundam.com.au.